Now we're going to discuss the anatomy of the sacrotuberous ligament. The sacrotuberous ligament is a very heavy structure that goes through the pelvis. It actually starts at the PSIS, goes down to the sacrum, goes off to the side to the ischial tuberosities, and then it actually travels underneath the sacrum and integrates into the arcuate pubic ligament all along the inside of the pubic ramus. We actually break this particular ligament into two sections. Anything off of the sacrotuberous ligaments and down and around to the pubic bone is going to be considered part of our pelvic floor platform that we learn in the more advanced sections of pain patterns and solutions. The area that I want you to understand is actually from the ischial tuberosity all the way to the sacrum and to the PSIS. This particular ligament is a real heavy structure that enables the body to have a platform to build scar tissue on that it can stop force whether it's traveling in an upward direction or a downward direction. For example, if you have somebody who has a hamstring pulling on this sacrotuberous ligament, you're going to start to see this kind of motion occur in the pelvis and that kind of motion will start to create all kinds of changes of torque up through the torso and into the head and the eyes. So what the body will do is it will lay scar tissue down really heavy through this area to stop that motion and oppose that force of whatever is pulling on that hamstring. If there is a lot of force it will continue to travel up this particular ligament all the way to the PSIS. That scar tissue will integrate into scar tissue on the sacral ligaments as well as into the SI joint. This particular growth of scar tissue all along this um, sacrotuberous ligament is involved in almost all SI joint dysfunction of the pelvis. So remember when we go to work this structure not only do we have to go from the sacrum to the tube, the sacrotuberous, but we need to continue into the fibers that integrate all the way up into the PSIS.